Hey everyone, Marix here, bringing you another video. Uh, this one, a lot of people have been asking me what I'm going to do to get ready for next month's Talent Up. So I thought I would do a video kind of breaking it down. I don't have like spreadsheet examples or anything for this because uh, really um, this is going to be really different for how everybody preps, right? Because a lot has to do with your roster and what it looks like. So first things first, uh, if Talent Up stays the way it did this month, uh, I plan on making uh, a lot of the similar moves because I want to keep building my roster uh, the way I have been. Um, the only difference is volume. So what I plan to get ready for sure right now is I'm going to get Alpha ready for 5-star silver. China ready for five star silver. Those will be my two five star silver moves. I am going to get two five star bronze moves ready, and one of them is going to be Cesaro. And the other one I am going to get ready is going to be Snoop. Right there, Cesaro and Snoop. So I'm going double trickster uh, at, to go to five star bronze and double striker to go to five star silver. So that's for my four big, big moves. Um, after that, it starts to get a little more creative uh, after my four big moves. So the next one will be, I think, because it's fairly affordable and I want to build them anyway, it's going to be another trickster, uh, which is the funny. This is, might be easier to go by class to find these because my talent's all over the place. Um, so it's kind of funny. It's going to be another trickster. Uh, I want to take Eddie to four-star silver. Um, I do have a strap that can fit him. That's a concern for a lot of people. You may not have a legendary Ruthless Aggression strap. Uh, if you recently got Eddie, that's one you'd want to check before building him. Um, but uh, Eddie at at five star can steal three different uh, MP colors. Uh, before five star, he can steal two. He can steal blue with the three amigos, and he can steal uh, green with the frog splash. Uh, overhead belly to belly suplex lets him steal purple, if I recall correctly. And he can do some uh, healing. He's got a pretty big health steal. He's got leech gems. Uh, he can just do a lot of stuff. His move charge is really high. That's the downside. Uh, but once he gets going, he starts rolling. And he's got that health steal against three different types. Plus, I mean, who doesn't love Eddie? So those are my five biggest moves. After that, it uh, starts to get a little interesting. Um... I'm going to take Zombie Roman to 4-star silver as well. He's a little bit lower and got a ways to go uh, coin, but his moves are mostly done. So it's relatively affordable move-wise. So Zombie Roman I will take to 4-star silver. And then um, I got a bunch of... Not a bunch. I have three 3-star three golds that I want to take to four star bronze for 9k training abilities so i am going to take powerhouse rowan i am going to take zombie seth and i'm going to take acrobat jimmy uh get and get them ready all to go four star bronze so those moves right there um there's the the two five star silvers the two five star bronzes and the two four-star silvers, and then four, I'm sorry, and then three to four-star bronze, uh, that ends up being 120 million-ish ballpark with the talent up we had this month. So that gets me really close, and then my plan from there would be to not do the coin events the last week this month. So actually, look at it this way. <clears throat> Sunday coin was around 18 million, Monday 8, today was 9, Wednesday will probably be 10, Thursday will probably be 11 million. So roughly 55 to 57 million a week in coin events. So I probably will do the big coin event on the last Sunday, um, you know, with when going into the last week of the MLC. And then I'll probably even do Monday and Tuesday, <clears throat> but I won't do Wednesday and Thursday. Um... Actually, I'll just do Monday. 
I won't do uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday because that'll total about 30 million in coin. And I like doing all the coin events even if I've maxed the MLC to keep getting guys ready. But I'll save that 30 million coin and just plan on putting that into the talent up. So I'll have 30 million to put into someone to level up. Um, and that will easily max the talent up between the 120 million points I have, the 30 million into that, and then the talent... Um, that goes along with that plus whatever uh, the starting superstar is and that sort of thing so that's my plan for my roster now that is not the most efficient plan uh, that's how I'm doing it but I'll show you why when I sort by talent uh, and I'll also get some smaller moves ready just to be safe uh, but I don't have a lot of them you can see I have two actual fodder two and everyone else is slowly been built up for events. I have these two at two star gold, not fodder, but almost ready to go. And then a few at three star bronze, but not much. So you can see I don't have a lot of fodder. Uh, very few guys under 5k in general. So I don't even have very many trainers to go. Uh, so, like, I might work Shane, Shane O'Mac here and get him ready to take three-star silver as well as Christian and Seamus because they're all potentially useful trainers uh, for preview videos for me or if someone comes out that I end up needing. Uh, plus, uh, guilty pleasure, I kind of want to level Shane O'Mac up one day. Um, so we'll see. But anyway, that's what I plan on doing for me. Most efficiently would probably be getting... Um, like, two guys ready to go three-star uh, bronze, two guys ready to go three-star silver, two guys ready to go three-star gold, so on and so forth. Noah's Ark at two by two. Uh, get two ready of the lower evolves. Then once you get to, like, uh, four-star silver, four-star gold, start getting one ready, and that should get you pretty close as well. But again, you play it by your roster. So if you got a bunch of trainers that are important, like your... Um, your MP generators, your MP coaches, um, you know, uh, your your uh, MP up guys, your charge guys. Uh, make sure and get those uh, up there. And then start looking for the trainers that make a lot of sense at 5K. Get all of those ready. Get your 9K guys ready, the ones that have really good 9K training abilities. Demon Balor is a trainer that everyone probably should take up to 9K. That's Acrobat Balor. Uh, so Demon Balor, very good 9k coach. Useful for all the Multiply Gem guys. So I would highly recommend getting him to 9k. Um, there's plenty of others. Uh, but look through your 9k trainers in the ones that are important. Dude, Dude Love is another great 9k trainer. 35% uh, black gem damage and then one extra black gem. Um, so just look into taking those guys and slowly taking them up each month. Pick a project guy that maybe is lower. Um, you know, like in my case, I'm picking Eddie because he's fun. Uh, and I don't have to spend a ton of resources to get him ready, right? Like, so Bailey here, I want to take her to, to four-star gold. The only downside is that's 18 million coin and a lot of TP on moves because I got her at four-star silver. Same thing... Uh, Beef Stroganoff here, I want to move him up. But again, 19 million coin to go to 4-star gold and a lot on the moves. That's a lot for someone I'm going to use as a trainer. You know? So it's it's not very efficient. So you have to pick and choose those spots when you're not going to be efficient. Um, like, so, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, and that's what I would recommend probably trying to do is be efficient get a bunch of lower ones ready they're cheap to prepare cheap to get ready uh, if you don't have your trainers done it'll help you get all your trainers in order um, and just get a bunch of them ready uh, look at what the talent points are worth uh, you know we're worth if you're not sure you can check my video your faction might have um, stuff up for it but It'll give you a rough idea. The lower stuff was much better value than the higher stuff. The only reason I'm not working on a lot of low stuff is I don't have a lot of low stuff to work on. Um, so, with that being said, again, I plan on getting two ready for five-star silver. That will be um, Alpha and China. Two ready for five-star bronze. That'll be Cesaro and Snoop. 
Uh, Eddie ready to go uh, four star silver. Zombie Roman ready to go four star silver. And then Rowan, Seth, and Jimmy ready to go 9k. All of that should get me to about 120 million. Game plan is going to be to not spend the last three coin events and save that 30 million and roll it over into the next talent up, which will put me at 150 million plus as I'm leveling guys up. I'll get talent for that. Should put me about right where I want to be. And then as a safety net, the couple guys I have that I should get ready um, for three star silver coaching, I'll have ready to go just in case. Um, the Seamus. Uh, Christian and Shane O'Mac, and that'll that's another probably three star silver. Let me check real quick. That should be like another. I, why do I not have that window open? I just had it open. Um, I don't know. They're worth stuff. A certain number, which I'm looking for, and three star silvers are worth like three, three, three and a half million. So. That's another 10 million right there. Um, so just in case I don't have a lot that I want to level up with my coin, gives me a little cushion. Um, and then going forward, I want to get guys ready for button clicks uh, just to be safe and plan on that. So like Fiend's another one I wouldn't mind getting to 9k, uh, but we're talking 14 million in coin to get him ready to go four star silver. So it's almost a million coin um, for every a million talent up points, which is a lot of coin. Uh, but other than that, guys, that that's my plan. I don't know if it's maybe as um, my normal kind of breakdown, but I guess it's still kind of early. It could change. It could be kind of fluid, but that's what I plan on doing to get ready. It keeps my roster in order, keeps me from working on anyone crazy that I didn't want to uh, at some point. I mean, some of them are a little bit earlier than I wanted to, maybe. Uh, I wasn't in a hurry to take Rowan, Seth, or Jimmy up there. But they all should be useful for me uh, with their 9k trainers. Um, so it's not the end of the world. Usually I might pick one guy like that to work on in the background for a talent up. Um, and I plan, and, it, and if I go over a little bit, that's cool too, because I can have a little bit of a, a safety net on if when we get surprises like this. I burned up a lot of safety net on this last talent up. Uh, and I like having a couple always in my back pocket in, in case something changes. Or yeah, maybe you guys don't remember, but we have had like a mid-event talent ups before. Um, or or like talent ups at weird times when like the Hall of Fame TED event was going on. So you never know when you're going to get one. So I always like to have a few extra button clicks ready anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't. hopefully that helps, guys. If, if there was something you wanted me to cover that I didn't, uh, tell me in the comments. I'm still trying to figure this out, too. Um, if, if you would have preferred if I had made a chart or something on the few guys I was going to take up, I mean, that would have been fine, too. Mathematically, I don't think it's as big a deal as just continuing to prep your roster in a smart way, building guys that you want to build that help your roster, uh, and trying to minimize wasting your resources on guys you won't really use. So make it useful, trainers, coaches, that kind of stuff. Um, and then continue getting those important guys for your roster ready so you don't stagnate in your roster growth. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Hopefully you find this helpful. And uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out. Other than that, guys, good luck out there.